Pythagoras's converse. The Pythagoras's theorem tells us that for any right angle triangle, then c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. We could also say that if c squared does equal a squared plus b squared, then the triangle must be right angled. This here is what is known as Pythagoras's converse. Example one. Is this triangle right angled? We've got a hypotenuse of 12.9 units and a shorter side of seven units with a shorter side of 10 units. So we can call this side A, we can call this side B and the hypotenuse C. So to determine whether it is right angled, we're gonna ask the question, does C squared equal A squared plus B squared? And if it does, then it, it is right angled. And if it doesn't, then it is not right angled. Substituting in, A is seven and B is 10. Seven squared is 49 and 10 squared is 100. 49 plus 100 is 149. So we can take the square root of 149 using a calculator. It comes to 12.206555 rounded. That comes to 12.2 units. Here we can see that C does not equal 12.2 units. It equals 12.9 units. So therefore it is not right angled. Example two, is this triangle right angled? Do not use a calculator. We're given two short sides of six units each. Therefore we have an isosceles triangle and we're given a hypotenuse of six root two units. So we can call the two short sides A and B and the hypotenuse C. So this is where we will be using third simplification because we're given the hypotenuse as a third, so we can just use the rules of thirds here. So the question is, does C squared equal A squared plus B squared? So C squared, does that equal six squared plus six squared? So that's 36 plus 36, which is 72. Taking the square root of 72 to get C. And now we can simplify this. So we can split 72 into 36 times two, which is the root of 36 times the root of two. Root 36 is six. So we have six root two units. And we can see that yes, C does equal six times root two units. So it is right angled. And for future reference, when you get an isosceles triangle, so two shorter sides of the same length, and the hypotenuse is that shorter side times root two, then it is definitely a right angle.